Hello, I'm Ovis and welcome to episode 8. Today we're going to be mining with a shovel. Um, wait a minute. What is that? Hello, I'm Orty. Welcome to episode... <clears throat> Hello, I'm Orty. Welcome to episode 8. Today Ovis is going to be mining with a shovel like an idiot. Did you write that? Forty. Did, did you write that? About me? I mean, you've got a nail there, and that looks suspiciously like it's been written in nail. So I'll just ask you one more time. D did you write that nail? Did you, did you write that with your nail on the, on the, on the sign there? Screw you, it's going to be fun. Yes, today we're going to be mining with a shovel, because that's going to make for a fun video. Um, the reason we're going to be mining with a shovel is... I don't know either. Um, the Gathering Epic, this one here. So, the Gathering Epic says, increases drop chance from plants and boulders and fungus, by whatever, and unlocks the ability to collect plants, f uh, boulders and fungus, um, with a shovel. Basically, if you use a shovel on a bit of plant... Oh, also, I, I made a door, because Orty wasn't even protecting us in the slightest, so I thought I'd do it myself. So, if I pick up a... If I get a shovel, and I pick up this um, fungus, I'll actually pick it up, instead of breaking it. There we are. Um, but what the epic doesn't say is that it also works on mining seams. Right, so if we come down, let's try and find some copper. Here's some. It's a bit dark, but uh, so if we use our shovel, here we are. Just get a bunch of them, I guess, and some coal. Why not? It's a really weak shovel, by the way. This is meant for tier one soil. So, uh, so now we've got. Let's get rid of all that junk. We've now got some seams. Okay, so we've got copper seams, dark grey, etc. So we can now pick up these seams, and we can plant them down wherever we want. Let's just say here, and we can break them, and we'll get the actual copper ore from them. Uh, on a tier 1 and 2 planet, you get 2 copper ore per seam, but on higher tier planets, you get a lot more. You can get like 3 to 4 copper ore per seam. So my theory is, and people might already know this, if it works or if it doesn't, but my theory is, how about you mine copper ores with a shovel on a low tier planet, and then bring that stuff, not just copper, but everything, so soil and fossils and uh, tech remnants, and you bring them to a high tier planet, place them all in a nice kind of, you know, three by three tube, and then break them all, would you get a lot more loot? And if it works, would it be worth it? So that's what we're just going to do a little test now. Let's do, let's get nine copper ore. So okay, I got five. How many is that? Is that enough? It's very hard mining on this um, on this ledge. Seven. Eight. Okay, let me get um, one more. Okay, here we are. Okay, so I've got nine. Let's grab that soil as well. Cool. So let's uh, make our way to a tier um, five or six planet. Actually, first, let me show you the actual percentages. Let's give, get a nice, get a nice background there, and then, boom, professional. So here we are. Hopefully, we can see that. Yes, we can. So here is the. Uh, this is another tool from Fiffle. I hope, I hope I'm saying that right. But in the top right, you'll see he's got the so the boundless block drops. He's got the damage calculator, the forge traits, the block stats, etc. Um, 
it's basically what this means is the block is let's say you break some silty soil what you can get from that is the actual silty soil uh, raw earth yams and raw waxy earth yams on a tier one planet you'll get a hundred percent chance to get one silty soil and you've got a 4.2 percent chance to get raw earth yams meaning with every block you break you've got a 4.2 percent chance so if you're aoe farming times that 4.2 by 9 and every time you hit the soil that'll be the chance you have at raw earth yams now if you go to a tier 4 planet and break silty soil you've got a 4.2 percent chance to get raw earth yams and also another 4.2 percent chance to get raw waxy earth yams so that's how this tool works it kind of tells you how your percentage your percentage chances of getting the blocks and how much of that block you'll get etc and the secondary drops and also it accounts for the gathering epic and the luck bonuses so you'll see as I, as I change the luck value the percentage goes up right so if you've only got four luck you can see all your you know the correct percentages but the gathering epic um, it just changes the I'll just show this quickly it just changes the boulders the funguses and the and the plants so for example let's get a basic boulder here we are opal every time you break a basic boulder you've got a 142 percent chance to get um to get an opal right but if you've got the gathering epic you've also got not also you've got 157 percent chance so it's not a 200 percent chance increase but it is a decent chunk of increase i think that's like what 15 percent maybe whatever uh, that's not um that's not the point i was just trying to explain this um this tool so if you come down to the the ores and stuff which is what this stuff is here you go to copper which i'll highlight there you go to tier one and tier two planets you've got a 200 percent chance of getting copper ore meaning that every every seam you break you'll get two copper ore now tier three and four you've got a 256 percent chance meaning you're guaranteed to get two with a further 56 percent chance to get another one so that's two to three and tier five through to tier seven is 354 meaning you'll get three with a 54 percent chance at getting a fourth one okay so if we take our tier one and two copper ore seams bring them to a tier five planet will we get that increased um will we get that increased uh, copper ore yield basically which is 1.54 extra so that's what we're going to be testing that's why we're mining with a shovel let's get rid of the screen there we are and let's head to a tier five planet i guess i'll meet you at the the tnt network yeah hopefully i explained that well i might have, I might have tried to explain it too much but if you don't understand that then this video is going to make absolutely no sense so here we are on serpent serenity which is a tier five planet we're just going to turn on beacon view and find some unplotted area so here we'll do we're going to place our copper seams we're going to get our aoe hammer so we've got nine here so these are tier one seams so if it doesn't work we'll get nine times two which is 18 copper if it does work we'll get nine Let's just do a little calculation times nine times three point five four. We should get thirty one or thirty two. So let's see. Thirty. Thirty, is that correct? So nine nine times three point I guess it is correct, isn't it? Because nine, because you've got a guaranteed three, with nine times three is twenty-seven. Then each of the extra nine, you've got um, a fifty-four percent chance of getting that. So it does work. You know, it's more than twenty. Um, I guess it's just a bit of RNG to whether or not you get that extra fourth um, copper ore. Yeah, I think I picked up some more earlier. Uh, so yeah, so it does work, which means the theory is correct. And if we just take a look at the the block drop uh, chance thing again there's different percentages so copper ore uh, tier 5 planet 
is the lowest planet in which you get the highest rewards. But then you come to silver seams, and then a tier six planet is the lowest planet you'll get the highest rewards. Because obviously, whatever. And if you go mining on a tier five planet for gems, let's say diamonds, which we're going to highlight there. If you're tier five, you've got a two on. So basically, you, in a tier five planet, you'll get two diamonds per seam. But if you mine on a tier six planet, you'll get two guaranteed diamonds with an 84% chance of getting a third. So if you want to go mining for diamonds, tier 6 is the best, the better planet. Um, but I guess if you can mine, if, if you can pick up your tier 5 diamonds with a shovel, probably not an AoE shovel because the damage will be so reduced and tier 5 that would be quite a lot, of, um, a lot of swings, it might not be worth it. But if you then take those seams to tier 6, you'll get your, um, you'll get extra diamonds. So that, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be trying out today we're just going to do a little test on how do i get rid of that uh, there we are we're going to be doing a little a trial run we're going to go to a tier one planet find a good place to get some um some copper and some uh, coal and stuff like that and then we're gonna whack it all on a big tower on a tier five planet and see how much stuff we get but first i want to do a bit of shopping so actually i shouldn't dump my stuff in the middle Let's get back to base and sort out our inventory. Okay, let's get a... Whatever. Let's use this box. Um, so let's dump some stuff that we don't need. Basically, I, I want to be able to. Oh yeah, the sign. <laughs> I, I want to be able to sort out my inventory so it's not. Yeah, you know, so I've basically got as much spaces as possible without, you know, wastage, right? So I want to be carrying at all times a stack of totems, a grapple, which I need to get a new one that's nearly broken, uh, food, brews, warp conduits, beacon plots is kind of useful, but it's kind of it's kind of meh. Atlases very useful. A stack of chisels. Some regen bombs, and then a few tools. But the thing I'm I want to change today is the chisels. So I've got three stacks of chisels because you've got metal ones, stone ones, and alloy ones. So I'm gonna want to go buy some gem ones because the gem ones cover all of these metal ones and alloy ones, but they basically stack in the same stack, which is nice. Uh, but let's pick up a few things that we're gonna be selling. This, I've got these orbs and stuff from um, region farming. So let's leave one in there. Same goes for these shimmering orbs. Got those from the growth. Um, I'll keep the rough orbs stone because that could be useful. Bitter beans, I mean, they're pretty valuable. Um, you know what? That'll do. I think I'll get a decent amount of coin from that. I mean, I've already got quite a nice coin, we've got 136,000 let's open the door so let's go sell this stuff and do a little shopping trip so I believe uh, Payne's shop is selling them for the most at the moment at 9 coins each so I've actually got too many um, orbs. There we are. That'll do. So we've got now 100. We've got made. I think we made 20k there, which is quite nice. Now let's go find some shimmering orbs. Shimmering orbs. I'll tell you what, just across the way is Dozer's Discounts. Good old trusty store. Another 20k, awesome. They're not buying pulsating. You know what? Whatever. We'll, we'll keep those. Um, yeah, that's a very nice piece of coin. What was that? About 40k we made. And I think this is the shop. Yeah, this is the shop we're going to buy the, the the gem chisels from. So let's just buy all these. There we are. Got my nice tool sets. And as we're here, we might as well pick up a 
a grapple. What do we want? Range, projectile speed, durability. Is that the best ones? Rank 330. You know what? That'll do. Whatever. Awesome. Okay, let's clear our inventory. Pulsating orbs. Beans. We can chuck away metal chisels, chuck away alloy. We have to keep the stone because they've, it's our transformation on chisel and our uh, loot stick. But we'll work on getting um, gem transformation and chisel lattice and stuff. And a totem loot stick at a later date, whatever. So I guess we can now... Oh, a good shovel. I need a good shovel. I remember seeing some decent shovels down here at GTG. Yeah, so I'm not sure if these are the best prices. I have no idea that you know they very well could be. Um, but they've just got a lot of stock, you know, so it's... Oh, these are... Um, Forged. So, diamond I know is the strongest. What's that? 6,156 damage. What do these do? 4,000. Okay, so we're just, we're just going to spunk this, um, how much is it? 9,000 coin on this insanely strong diamond shovel. Which hopefully one shots seams on a tier one or two planet. And then we've got our hammer to break them. Tell you what, let's just buy ourselves a nice tier six speed hammer. Or do we get tier seven durability? Tell you what. Let's just get one of these tier 7 12,000 coin ruby speed hammers. And I'm being perfectly honest, I already pressed buy before I saw it said 12,000 coin. I then read it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, but whatever. We we've got it now. I'm sure it will last quite a while. Is it durability? No, it's not. Oh well. Who, who cares? Um, making coin is a, is, a, is, a, is a fun thing to do. So uh, Let's get to a... Mining spot on a tier one planet, I guess. I don't think anyone's made those. You, you do find some mines on like higher tier planets that people basically hollowed out an area which you can start on, and it's the right altitude and stuff for mining. But on a tier one and two planet, I don't think people mine at all, really. So let's go and find. Let's go to Refgar, that's our place. Let's just go and find a um a decent place to mine. I forgot it was shut. Right, so I'm on Refgar, I've got an Atlas and my shovel. I reckon to find a good space or a good place for copper ore. We should look on this seabed, find some copper ore just here. There we are. Whack it in our Atlas. And then, okay, there's copper ore everywhere. Let's make our way to one of those white hotspots over there. And hopefully that'll be a good place to mine. Also, I do know that I did spend 9,000 coin on a shovel to mine on a tier 1 planet. I do understand the, the uh, you know, how that's not a great, a great deal. But I have no idea how strong of a shovel you need. Um, so I just wanted to start with the strongest. It doesn't even one-shot seams. So I... Yes, but that, that's the strongest shovel, and I do have all the skill points. I've got the shovel and axe epic, I've got the shovel mastery, 8 out of 8 power, and damage epic, and obviously the 5 out of 5 attributes. So, it doesn't quite one shot, which is very interesting. Let's just go all the way I've got a sneaky suspicion that this shovel isn't the maxed out on damage. Because it says rank th uh, 360. I think rank 370 is the best you can get. Maybe. Or maybe even 400. And as you see, 
if it one shots, it's because it's, it's critting. Uh, but if you see the damage on a seam, the green bar is just at the end. So I reckon that if they had one extra point of damage, it probably would one shot the block. So maybe the minimal you need, obviously with a strength brew as well, is a maxed out diamond shovel with maxed out damage. Right, let's go mining here in a straight line for the next couple minutes. Okay, so let's just grab all this uh, all the seams we find now. I'm actually very surprised that it doesn't one shot the seams. Because you can't get any weaker seams than on a tier yeah, you know, tier one and two planet. So I reckon I've done I've either done something wrong. Like in, in my calculations, or this shovel isn't the best damage shovel. And to be fair, nothing about it said it was the, the best damage shovel. So, actually, what we could try, because I tested some stuff on a creative mode. So basically, uh, this is Ovis. This is my 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 last main character that I don't use anymore. And basically, that character is just parked on a creative world. So if I want to test something on creative world, I just click on that character. I get teleported there, which is actually quite a good reason. So it's quite a good, um, it's quite a good use for having a an extra count. Right, so we're on a creative world here, so nothing here counts toward any sort of progression. So here is a maxed out shovel. This shovel is rank 370. It's got plus 50 action speed, so 105. It's basically the damage here. The damage for this max shovel is 6,298, as you can see just here. So 6,298. Um, I'll show you what this is in another video. Because it's way too complicated to explain right now. So let's go back to back to Ovis. Okay, here we are. So this shovel yes, this shovel is not a maxed out shovel. I think it's lacking like 150 damage. Which that 150 damage isn't a lot of damage, but then if you times that 150 damage by, you know, increase 50%, I reckon it would one shot seams. So maybe to one shot seams on a tier one and two planet, you need a max damage diamond shovel and a and a um, and a mega strength brew, which that is quite a lot. You know, you know that's not a cheap shovel. I mean, strength brews are pretty cheap. They last 15 minutes, and they're like I think like 100 coin each. So the strength brew isn't exactly the um, it's not the worst thing. I guess the downside to having to use a strength brew would be you can't use uh, a speed brew, meaning that um, your collection of the your ores and stuff will be slower. But maybe the maybe the meta for doing this would be just to get a normal hammer, an AOE hammer that one-shots uh, the rock but doesn't one-shot the seams and then in your other hand you'll have a single hit hammer um, that can one-shot individual seams. So the downside to that would be you have to like mine 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 then use the other one on a single hit to get the all the seams but that might be more cost effective but it would be slower. So, I mean, this way of mining, it, you know, as I said in the, in the beginning, we're just testing it out. I have no idea if it is efficient, if it is even worth it. Um, I guess, because basically you have to mine the stuff with a very good shovel, and then bring that stuff to a tier 5 planet, and then place it down, and then mine it again. So basically you're mining it, play, uh, placing it and then mining it. So you're mining it twice. And you have to still have to use a very good shot. So it doesn't seem like it would be that um that efficient. But maybe if you found a really good place to mine, like loads of seams on a tier one planet or, or two planet, 
it could be quite efficient compared to go just, just yeah you know, this is this is just what I'm comparing it to is just straight up mining with a hammer on a tier five planet. Um, and again on a tier five planet you would find much better loot as well. You wouldn't just find copper and you know these tech fragments and coal. You would be finding you know titanium, silver, gold, diamonds, or you know gems, not just diamonds. I think what the most interest, uh, what the interesting thing about this is, is seeing the, uh, is seeing the increase, is seeing how much copper and you know coal we can get from, um, from this tier one planet loot, I guess. So I'm just going to continue mining for the next. I reckon, I reckon we'll get a smart stack. Let's let's get a smart stack of copper ore, seems, and then. And then I'll come back and we'll go to a tier 5 and see how much copper that is. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So I've nearly got a smart stack of copper ore seams. It's annoying getting a smart stack because obviously you've got to get the right type of rock as well to get a nice smart stack. I've got more copper here. So what I've done is I've placed the... This is igneous rock. I've placed the igneous iron that I've got. I'm using a transformation chisel to change it into copper. Break that. And I need 33 more igneous rock in copper. There we are. Um, I didn't need that for the. Um, I didn't need it to make a smart stack, but I kind of wanted it. It's quite satisfying having 300, 300, 300. And that's the spare that I got. So let's empty the inventory back at our base and then head to a tier 5 planet and mine everything. Okay, so these, all this stone is quite good for, let's just get rid of that, for making into, um, all the rocks right, it's good for making into stones for XP. Let's just chuck that in there. Don't need that. So I've got all these seams. Let's now get to a tier 5 and mine it and see what the bonus is. I'm just going to do one full smart stack of copper and which should be two smart stacks of copper ore on a tier 1 or 2 planet and we'll see actually how much the bonus is. So basically every single piece of copper ore over over two smart stacks will be the bonus that we're getting from doing this little trick. Now do I expect it to be worth it? At the moment, no, but I am but it is a very interesting concept to me. Um, so I'm actually quite interested in in how kind of efficient I can make it. Which I still don't expect to be like as efficient obviously as just going to a tier five planet and mining. Especially because you'll get different um, you get more valuable uh, blocks and stuff. But perhaps if you're just going for copper, um, it, it could be, you know, it could potentially be quite, quite efficient. But again, um, I'm I'm just doing it mainly because I'm quite interested in the in the um, in the concept. Right, I think we could do it right here. Maybe if we kill these cuttle trunk. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to place all these, all this copper, and then I'll meet you probably at the sky limit or something. <laughs> Actually, it's nine by nine, so a hundred blocks up. I really hope no one comes and sees me doing this because this is not plotted, so they could either steal it or regen bomb it. So hopefully, no one else comes. Okay, that's done. That is mad. I missed a couple of blocks here and there. But that is 900. That's 900 copper seams, which would be 1,800 copper ore on a tier 1 or 2 planet. So let's... Yeah, let's mine it all. 
You'll see in my inventory that I haven't got any uh, copper ore. I've got some seams left over, but no actual copper ore. So let's get that um, gem hammer and... I'll meet you at the bottom. Oh yeah, I'm going to be getting some uh, some feats from this, I think, because it's quite a lot of ore. And let's get teaching pie, because I think mining ore is quite good for XP. Oh my god, look at that XP got. And I think the XP is increased because we're on a higher tier planet as well. So that's another benefit. There we are. 3,000... Is that... Let's just do some maths. Let's make that. Make, let's make sure it's correct. Nine hundred times three, and then this one is four ninety. Uh, plus four ninety. Yep, that's three thousand one hundred ninety. So minus the one thousand eight hundred that you'd get normally from a tier two planet. So basically, doing this method, we've got an extra one thousand three hundred and ninety copper ore. So the question is. Is that worth it? We've increased our yield by one point was it fifty four? Hundred and fifty four percent we've got extra copper. The time it took um was quite oh, I think it took me about half I want to say half an hour to get all that ore. Maybe, maybe a bit longer, forty five minutes. Um we do get other bits like the coal and stuff that I will be doing as well, but whatever so I'm not so at the moment in its current state I don't know much about it it's not worth it I wouldn't say but I think I could make it more efficient by doing a few things I think I could have I could try the single hit hammer and just AOE so that the AOE hammer with a single hit shovel that could be better I could also find a much better place to mine copper um, and yeah, and beacon it and stuff. So you just have, just have to spawn up the beacon. Then all the copper is there in the wall. You just walk along and whack it out with your um, single hit hammer. I also think I could build some contraption that would make placing the blocks in a three by three kind of cube or rectangle a lot easier. So there are, there are definitely ways to improve this, make it more efficient. At the moment, without doing those improved efficiencies, I don't think it's worth it. But I do, I am still interested in the concept. I think it's quite a cool thing having less items and then turn them into a lot more. So let's just do this copper ore off camera and I'll just teleport to having all the ore. I think placing it down, laying downwards, uh, or laying on the side of the tower, is a lot better. It's a lot quicker for placing it. So I think if I was to make a kind of beaconed area, and have a contraption, possibly using a glide track to pretty much automatically help me, you know, semi-automatically place all of the seams. It would be one step in making it a lot more efficient. There we are. So it, it obviously wasn't as, as much, um, I didn't have as much coal as I did copper but I think it's the exact same percentage increases so that's that's fine that's whatever but again that's quite a lot of copper uh, quite a lot of coal I wasn't even going for coal specifically there we are. Um, actually I'll do everything might as well as we're here technophile awesome so this is every single thing we got on that mining trip. Now I've got to give it one thing, I've got to say one thing. It is extremely, extremely satisfying having everything in a big like you know, cube or whatever and harvesting it all. Um, it's also good for XP, um, but I don't know how that XP compares to just plain mining on a tier 5 planet, probably not very good. Uh, so yeah, so as, as I said before, there's definitely some uh, efficiencies that I need to sort out. Is it going to be super efficient? No. Is it kind of fun? It's kind of fun. It's kind of unique. It's kind of different. 
But um, that'll be something we'll work on in the future when we've got more plots to make some better builds. But yeah, so that was mining with a shovel. Um, here we are. Uh, I guess we'll go. We'll, I think we'll do some proper mining in the f in, in the near future. Maybe if a cool exoplanet comes out, we'll try and go there, get some rift and stuff like that. But I'm working on my second skill page, which is here. Actually, four points, lovely. And this is going to be most likely it's going to be my mining skill page slash gathering skill page. So when we get that maxed out, not even maxed out actually, we can start um start going mining and stuff. But yeah, so uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, thank you for watching, and if you know of any good locations to shovel mine, uh, hit me hit me up. Yeah, let me know. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's getting quite long now. So, peace. See you next time.